The Xylem and the Phloem by kscience.com. In this video, we're going to explain how the xylem and phloem tissues within a plant help transport substances around the plant. Water is absorbed into the plant via the roots, and that happens by osmosis. So how does water go from the root where it's been absorbed to the leaf of the plant for the process of photosynthesis? The xylem is the tissue within a plant that transports water from the roots to the leaves via transpiration. What I'm drawing now is the xylem, the xylem cells. And the xylem cells are dead cells. They are dead, hollow cells. These dead cells that are hollow form the xylem. The xylem is where water is transported from the roots to the leaves via the process of transpiration. Transpiration. So what are the adaptations of the xylem? The xylem cells are dead cells with no end cell walls. So they've got no end cell walls. The dead cells of the xylem have got lignin in them. So the cell walls have got lignin in them, whereby lignin strengthens the cells of the xylem. It strengthens the cells of the xylem. The fact there are no end cell walls in the xylem means that this forms a hollow tube for water to be able to be transported from the root to the leaves via transpiration. I am now drawing the phloem. The phloem is tissue in the plant that transports sugar as sucrose. Sieve plates that I'm drawing now, these sieve plates have holes in them with pores in them, separate the compartments of the phloem. This here is the phloem. It is where glucose, which is produced during photosynthesis, is transported around the plant as sucrose. The sieve plates separate the different compartments of the phloem. These sieve plates have holes in them, known as pores, so pores are holes. These pores allow sucrose to be transported through the phloem. The sucrose is being transported around the phloem through the pores. These pores allow the sugar, which is dissolved in sap, to move around the plant via the process of translocation. Translocation. Translocation is the movement of sugar around the plant, not transpiration. Transpiration is the movement of water through the xylem. Transpiration occurs in one direction, whereas translocation, as you can see here, happens bidirectionally, up and down the phloem in two directions. So remember the phloem, transport sugar in two directions by the process of translocation. Translocation happens in the phloem. Transpiration happens in the xylem. Transpiration occurs in one direction from the roots to the leaves, whereas translocation occurs in two directions up and down the phloem. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. 
and if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.